Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we will be making a classic brandy cocktail known as the sidecar. We're gonna make the drink and we're also gonna talk briefly about the cocktail family that the sidecar squarely fits inside of and one of the major issues we have with that cocktail family. Now stay tuned to the very end because we will also show you how to add a little bit more flavor and complexity to the simple classic cocktail. Hi everyone, I'm Chris from The Bar Above. I'm a 15 year veteran of the bar and somebody that loves making fun and creative cocktails. So we're gonna make the classic brandy sidecar here in a minute. But before we do, let's quickly talk about the cocktail family that the sidecar sits inside of. Now, in our opinion, the sidecar lives inside of the sour cocktail family. Now the format for a sour is going to be a base spirit, sweetener, and acid. But within the sour family are subfamilies one of which is the daisy. Now the structure of a daisy is gonna be slightly different in the fact that we're using a base spirit, liqueur is gonna be our sweetener, and acid. That is the key differentiator from a traditional sour. Now one of the most famous cocktails in the daisy is going to be the margarita. Now earlier in the video, we mentioned that we have an issue with this particular family, and the fact is it's not sweet enough. Liqueurs are typically about half as sweet as simple syrup, so there's just not enough weight on the palate to make this a really interesting cocktail. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make the traditional sidecar using just liqueur, and we're gonna taste it. And we're gonna compare it with a simple addition of simple syrup as well. To make the classic brandy sidecar, we're gonna go ahead and start building our cocktail in our cheater tin here. And to that, we're gonna go ahead and add our brandy. Followed by our triple sec, Quantra in this case. And our lemon juice. And now before I shake this cocktail, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my glass with the signature element of the sidecar, the sugar rim. So now that it's done, we're gonna go ahead and finish off our cocktail. And to garnish this, we're just gonna do a simple orange twist. And there we have it, the classic brandy sidecar. So now let's go ahead and try our sidecar. It's okay, but it does lack the body. And I feel like the person that designed this kind of knew it needed a touch more sugar based off of the garnish that we see on this classic cocktail. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna add a little bit of simple syrup to it, give it a stir and taste it again. And now let's go ahead and try it. a lot better. Really rounds out that cocktail. It brings that Cointreau out and the orange peel. It just makes it a much better cocktail in our opinion. There we have it. We have made the sidecar and we've adjusted it slightly to make it a slightly better cocktail in our opinion anyways. So now let's go ahead and take a similar format that we were using for this traditional cocktail and add a little bit of fun and flavor to it as well. So to make this cocktail, we're gonna go ahead and put this one aside and we're gonna go ahead and build it just like we did in our cheater tin. Once again, we're gonna start off with brandy and our triple sec. And now we're gonna introduce another flavor and this is gonna come in the form of this Amari. 
Once again, just a splash of simple syrup and our lemon juice. And I almost forgot, let's go ahead and garnish our cocktail glass with that sugar rim. And once again, just a simple orange twist. There we have it, our modified sidecar. Now let's go ahead and taste these cocktails side by side. We know that we already love this cocktail, but just for comparison's sake, let's go ahead and taste it now to get a mental marker of the flavors that we're working with, and then we'll taste the other one right next to it. So here we go, cheers. That's really good. That orange in a triple sec and appeal is beautiful. So now let's try our version of it. That is also very good. Has a little bit more complexity to it, more layers of flavor, but the orange is definitely there. You know that that is definitely a variation on the sidecar. There we have it. We have made the classic Brandy Sidecar. We've talked a little bit about the cocktail family that it lives in and some of the grievances we have with it and the simple addition of some simple syrup that really elevates that cocktail family to the next level. And at the end, we had a little bit of fun by making a simple variation with our take on the Sidecar. So we know you have watched cocktail videos like this in the past. You know exactly what we're going to ask you to do. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon, and you will get notified anytime we release a cocktail video similar to this one. Until then, I hope you guys are enjoying your favorite version of the Sidecar. Cheers. Cheers.